Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to do the form validation using Formic. Okay. So in the previous video we have created this simple form and we are able to submit this form. Now what we will do is we will add the validation in this form. Okay. To set up the validation we just need to write one validate function. Okay. Here there is a one property validate and validate is representing one function. Here again we can access the values. Okay, here we are getting values. Okay, and inside the values we are able to capture the username field and the password field. So what we need to do is we just need to check that username, password, whatever we are getting are those username passwords correct or not. Okay. So what we will do is uh, we are writing the validate function here in the validate function we are getting the values. So first of all const errors we just can just create empty object and here we can check if values.email is there first of all let's compare it for name property values.name is there and values.name.length is greater than 3 if that is not true so we just create a negation of this what we will do is we will just set errors.name please enter name of sorry please enter name of min length three characters something like this similarly you can actually add the validation for the email and what we need to do is we need to return errors from this function and this function is directly attached to the validate so now how can we show this error message here so we already know how to show this so we already got the errors object so we just need to get this from the props so how to access it using props.errors so we are able to access values similarly we will be accessing props.errors here just a simple example so here I can have a span tag and this I will be able to render once I receive props.errors.name if that is there means we have some value defined for the name so what we will do if that is true in that case in span tag just print the value we are getting props dot errors dot name something like this here we are not tracking which property has been touched or which property hasn't been so we are just trying to print the error we are getting similar kind of error you can set for the email or password this is input text field here if you are setting the error for password then we might be checking some particular condition if password is meeting that criteria if password and password dot length okay the what is it values dot password is there and values dot password values dot password dot length if that is greater than zero that means true it will become false if this is coming as false then it will become true then we have to set something for the password please enter password and min length three character or whatever you wanted to set okay and we are returning this after setting this password property on errors and here we are checking the same thing so this is very basic form validation in the next video we will extend it and we will see how we can improve it. Okay. Thanks everyone.